In the middle of South Baton Rouge sits 7307 Old Goodwood. This is a collection of 40 homes uh, in a gated community that we have been working on for the last four years. This is our seventh home in this neighborhood and we couldn't be more excited to show it to you today. Each house becomes an opportunity for us to show off different textures and um, experiences as you walk through the house. And so in this space, what we did, you are in kind of the main foyer of the house. And so as you enter in, we wanted you to be in an experience that was maybe not, you weren't exactly sure what you were looking at. So what this is, this is a slick finished Venetian plaster. So we took it from the floor, put it on the ceiling, everything about it is a unique experience. And so you'll see these trowel marks running through there. Um, and so what we did is we put in these four foot tall uh, lights and we've got a huge piece of art that will be coming here. Uh, and it's really just gonna make such a statement as you walk in the very first steps of the house. Um, and as you walk over here and we brought in these old doors. And so it's such a play of old versus new where we've got this very modern fun hardware and then you've got these old doors that were salvaged from a building in Africa that really just makes for a neat experience. So when the architect envisioned this dining room space, this was originally planned to be kind of a wine feature. So this was gonna be behind glass, so there was going to be bottles on the wall, floor to ceiling. Um, and the more that we stood in the space, the more we felt like it needed warmth, it needed uh, an opportunity for art expression. And so um, we partnered with Gator Millworks to come in and they built this furniture style piece for us. Um, and then behind it, uh, we have this millwork wall that is rift sawn oak. So we've got three panels of rifts on oak um, that are stained in this medium brown finish and then has a very, very um, neutral pale um, uh, sealer over it. And so when the homeowner moves in here, we're really envisioning just some dramatic art on this wall. And instead of something that maybe was, was intended as just a wine feature, becomes an opportunity to really showcase something uh, beautiful and have some, uh, some warm woods and some neat textures. So every house is an opportunity for us to be creative in a few areas. We tend to do things repeated over and over. And so in every house you see the same large island, you see double dishwashers, separate fridge and freezer. But every house we really take our time with hoods and mantles and we never do the same thing twice. Um, and so that means that our team really takes time together to think about what we want to do in different spaces. So this hood was really a neat experience because we knew we wanted something that filled this entire wall over the stove. Um, we knew we wanted something that was subtle because we have these other details going on in the room that we didn't want to really take away or feel like it was being busy. So we started with a big box. So we just build this box on the, the wall and then we begin adding things to it and kind of seeing, hey, what works. So as we build uh, these corbel um, ends, uh, that's something that we're playing with just common materials. So we've got shoe molding here that uh, is just an opportunity for us to add just an extra little detail. Um, and so we still weren't sure what we wanted to do with this part of the hood. And so um, as you zoom in and you see what we have here, it is interesting because you, we wanted texture. And so what we did is one of my guys brought in a piece of quarter round and we, he, he put it up there, um, not with the intention of where we ended, but it was an opportunity to see something new. And so we took a piece of quarter round, then we took another piece of quarter round and put it together. And we realized that we had this, this fluted detail um, that really got me excited. And so as we stood back, we realized that we could create this across the entire thing. And then it, as we plastered it, it really became this one cohesive hood that I'm super excited about.
We've got 14 foot ceilings in this house and that is a ceiling height that we won't typically do. Um, we tend to stay between 10 and 12 feet. Um, when we get into really tall ceilings, uh, sometimes it can be harder from a design aspect to really make everything look right in scale. And so we were cognizant of that as we began with this fireplace. And so uh, again, the architect just put together just a, a square box on the plans. And so we were left to really kind of think through what we wanted to do. And so with 14 foot ceilings and a 22 foot long wall, we knew that we wanted something that was wide, but it couldn't come way out into the room and it couldn't feel enormous. And so we added these, these two inch walls uh, that are two inches thick that just barely came out into the room. But as you stand in this large space, the room feels more quaint as a result of the fireplace scale being right. Uh, so again, you've heard me say plaster a lot. Um, we plastered this, but we're using it all in different ways. Some has a very solid matte finish. Others, you see that trowel coming through um, and we're adding little details that make that texture really pop. So every house we do gets the sliding doors. And the hope is, is that as you entertain, that these doors are open, that it's open to the screened in patio, which has AC and heat. And it really makes for an experience that uh, is really being used year round, right? And so if we can control the bugs and we can control the temperature, then we can affect the way that you use this space. And so it's not just on the three pretty days that we have great weather here in Baton Rouge, but it is year round where you can use this space. So as we've entered in outdoor kitchen, uh, a way for you to be outside entertaining, uh, and then you can raise and lower the screens, that just makes for a really neat experience. And as the screens open, you realize how much conditioning effect they have because as the screens open on a chilly day like today, all of the heat is rushing out and you really just feel how much of an impact it is making on this space. In this house, as you make your way from the powder room to the mud room space, uh, to our office, to all the details inside and out, uh, Craft Interiors uh, pulled all of these things together from the wallpaper to the light fixtures to the hardware. Um, and really they're doing an amazing job uh, in elevating our construction uh, in such a way that as people come through, uh, they want to understand more about what we're doing. Uh, Craft Realty uh, sold this house for us um, and has one more in the neighborhood that is our parade home for this year. So come check out 7307 Goodwood. It's a really neat place to see different forms of architecture and what's really happening kind of in this day and age um, as what will become the new classic architecture uh, is really being represented well in this neighborhood. Thanks for watching.